good morning. I'm training for my first ultra marathon. Just running a um, what's supposed to be a 10k through the woods, but um, it's going to be 12k because I need to add a little bit on to make up this week's distance. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about goals and where I'm hoping to be in the next few months kind of thing so my current goal is the Road Botham's round Rotherham 50 miler which um, I think as ultras go it's not a challenging one but I figured it would be a reasonable place to start because it's on my doorstep uh, pretty much so it'll be kind of like familiar country there's a good chance it might not go ahead because of covid but it's in october so at the minute we're in july at the minute it's still going ahead so i'm going to train as though it is and then if it does get cancelled you know i know i can put that training in and i can just train for the next the next thing that might be um, open. I'm coming back from some knee issues that were entirely my own fault. I started um, kind of training for ultras back in uh, October. Um, and I didn't really approach it in the right way. And then when the pandemic hit, um, I tried to adapt my strength training from uh, barbell weighted strength training in the gym to using like a weighted vest and doing weighted calisthenics for my legs and um, did it wrong so I caused myself some knee issues on top of just like not really structuring my running properly or at all um, so trying to be smarter this time around knee recovery was fine like I, I'm pretty good at recovering from things and I caught the problem before it had gone on too long. So yeah, I caught the knee problem in time. Um, and I've just been doing loads of knee strengthening exercises. Um, so I did that for like two months. I was doing knee strengthening exercises every morning and um, walking, just going for walks. And then like one slow kind of five-ish kilometre run with my partner each week because he's a very slow runner. Um, so that worked. So I did that for a bit. And then I just upped it to doing three five kilometre runs every week um, at a generally easy pace. And I was walking in the days in between and still doing my knee exercises. And I've this is sort of the second week of adding more distance. Oh, I don't know where I am. Okay, I know where I am. Um, so it's the second week of adding more distance. And it seems to be fine so far. And I'm just edging up slowly, like 10%-ish each week. And I should be able to get the distance up in time for the 50 miler in October. So, that's what's going on currently and it's kind of nice to know that I haven't really lost the training that I did before my knee problem like it wasn't very good training in terms of structure but I've still got the ability to run 20 kilometers in a day which is what I was worried I'd lose so my next step for training is um to figure out heart rate zone training I've ordered a watch because I don't currently own a sports watch that tracks heart rate and whatnot um, so I've ordered one should be arriving today hopefully um, and that will help me stop going too fast at the beginning of my um, medium long runs <laughs> so I have been judging it just trying to intuitively judge it at the minute um, which probably isn't going 100% correctly 
but I'm trying to do the 80 20 80 percent slow and then doing like a hill session hill speed session each week um, that's been going all right I seem to be feeling more comfortable in my medium long runs like I can go at a reasonable pace and still feel fine like breathing normal and everything a little bit different at the minute because I'm trying to talk and breathe but um yeah I think I think I'm not too far off but just having the heart rate data will help for sure I've got a new job as a shepherd Last bit of the run, got under two kilometers left to go, and it should be pretty easy running from here. Gave myself a couple of very steep technical inclines to deal with, but it's all good experience. Just trying to get more time on different trails and learning how to deal with different conditions. I've been running for years, but not this kind of running. So a lot of this is quite new. And I'm quite looking forward to the learning process. Run done. Just walking it out back to the car. And I'm gonna go home and demolish a bowl of chocolate oatmeal. Um, yeah, that was good. Definitely some challenging bits in that run, but and I need to, uh, really looking forward to having something that tracks my heart rate because <laughs> I, I go out too fast on these shorter runs every time uh, and I really need to curb that usually settle in to a good pace later in the run but um, yeah, just earlier in the run I really need to nail this uh, going out steady thing I'm trying to stay in zone two and not keep going into zone three. All right, I'm gonna head back to the car. Um, yeah, this was just an update on my running goal, I guess, for the minute. Um, and I'm gonna try and document my training in some form. I haven't really figured out what format I'm gonna do it in yet, but um, there will be running videos. I just haven't decided exactly what they're going to be yet. Alright, catch you around.